Sometimes God picks a people and puts a burden on a community, not to destroy them, but to develop them so that they can do something magnificent in his eyes. African Americans, women, all of the groups that have come and taken us one step closer. And now it's your turn. We as Muslims know what it feels like to have our faith hijacked. Now, we as Americans have to work to make sure those who are attempting to hijack our democracy will fail and the Constitution will prevail. By protecting the vulnerable in our society, we make America a better place to live. Justice is not defined by how you appease the wealthiest and the strongest and the most powerful in society. Justice is defined when you represent and serve the weakest of our society. That's what MPAC is doing. Our greatest threat is a situation where we as a community are not unified. That's our greatest threat. That we prepare our youth that we prepare them for the leadership of the future, prepare them how to be the candidates, not just the votes. MPAC has never been just about Muslims. Since I was a young girl, MPAC has been singularly focused on the idea that when American Muslims prosper and when justice prospers, then America as a whole prospers. You have gone through an entire presidential campaign where there were racist and bigoted attacks against this community. You had to hear the president-elect talk about banning Muslims. You have had people close to him talk about a Muslim registry. And what I want you to know is that I will be a voice in Congress for you. I will fight for you. I will defend you. I will stand with you. Because if they come after you, they are coming after me. I want you to know that I stand with you. I will make sure that you can say with pride that I have your back. And we the people will sing out in concert that we are Americans proud of our American ideals and we will never forsake them. Thank you very much for what you are doing.